Good day, good day, good day, beloveds. I trust that you are all well. God has laid this word in my spirit, but let us begin with a word of prayer. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Preach this word through me. Lord, let them not hear me, but let them hear you through me. Holy Spirit, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I feel this word in my spirit so strongly, so strongly. We are carrying on with our series. Today we are doing part two of the mysteries of God. And today's title ah, under the series, the mysteries of God is hope in the midst of uncertainty. Hope in the midst of uncertainty. God will reward you for your loyalty. When you have hope in the midst of uncertainty, God will reward you for your loyalty to him. Hope in biblical terms means it is hope is the confident expectation of God, of what God has promised. And its strength is in the faithfulness of God. Hope in biblical terms is the confident expectation of what God has promised and its strength lies in the faithfulness of God. Ruth chapter 1 verse 6, this is what Ruth said to her mother-in-law Naomi, for where you go, I will go. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Ruth is a clear example of hope in the midst of uncertainty. This woman had just lost her husband. She had just lost everything dear to her. Lost her place of comfort. Lost her true bearing. In that very moment she made a decision that I am going with you I am sticking with you she stayed not knowing what tomorrow will hold but she hoped for the best now Ruth's arrival in Bethlehem, her first task was to glean the farm, which was owned by a man called Boaz. Now in verse 8, it says, Boaz goes straight to Ruth and tells her not to glean on any other farm and to stay close to the other women who are working. When you are thirsty, go and drink from the jars that the servants have drawn. Verse 11, it has been fully reported to me all you have done for your mother-in-law since your husband has passed on. Verse 12, may the Lord repay your work and may the Lord repay your work. And a full reward be given to you by the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings you have come for refuge. There are some of you like Ruth. You have, have, have had, had every reason to quit. You had every reason to lose your faith. You have had every reason to lose your mind. But you held on to the rugged cross. You held on to Jesus. In the midst of uncertainty, you stood. In the midst of uncertainty, you remained loyal to God. And the revelation of the word today. Ah, every time I preached about this word, I preached about it from the angle of love that God blessed Ruth with Boaz. But the mystery that is being revealed today is that God was rewarding Ruth for her loyalty to him. 
Boaz, the first thing Boaz says is, you have been good to your mother-in-law. May the Lord repay you. May the Lord reward your works. La Baba. Now the mystery, ah, the revelation behind this mystery is that God was rewarding the loyalty of Ruth. This marriage came as a result of her loyalty towards God, her loyalty towards Naomi, which was her loyalty towards God, because God had a divine plan, because this woman believed, even when it was unpopular, even when her co-wife left, when the other, when the other, the, when the other daughter-in-law left, she stayed. There are some things that have happened to you. You have had every right to leave, every right to lose your mind, every right to turn your back against God because of what you faced. The persecutions have been tough. But you stayed and you stayed holding on to that rugged cross. And now God has sent me to tell somebody because you believed. Ah, because you had a hope in uncertainty. I, the Lord, shall reward you. Sometimes God won't give you all the details. Naomi left her. Ah, with Ruth, not knowing what they're going to find there. Ruth left her, not knowing what she was going to find there. But she had hope in the midst ah, of uncertainty. Secondly, God honors loyalty. It has been fully reported to me all you have done for your mother-in-law since your husband passed away. God rewards loyalty. God rewards loyalty. God is about to honor you for moving despite not having all the details, for sticking with him even when it was unpopular to do so, even when people called you a fool, even when you were mocked and ridiculed, you held on to that rugged cross. You had hope in the midst of uncertainty. The God who rewarded the loyalty of Ruth is saying to you today, I'm about to reward your loyalty. I'm about to reward you for your loyalty because you had hope in the midst of uncertainty. I, the Lord, shall reward you for your loyalty to me. Lord, as you have laid this word in my spirit, I have released it. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the testimonies that are coming from this word because you never just release a word and it does not yield fruit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I release this prophetic word in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the testimonies that are coming from this word, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, beloved. God richly bless you, beloved. Thank you to all of you who are emailing. Thank you for the testimonies that you are sending in. Thank you for those who are supporting this ministry. God richly bless you, beloved. God richly bless you. All my information is in the description box. God richly bless you, beloved. Shalom.